Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there lived a dear little girl who was loved by everyone. She wore a red velvet cloak and hood everywhere she went, so she was called Little Red Riding Hood. Early one morning, her mother said, Little Red Riding Hood, here's a cake and jug of cider. Take them to your grandmother. She is sick and weak, and they will do her good. Be sure to carry them carefully, and be sure that you do not leave the path. I promise, said Little Red Riding Hood, and she set off down the path through the wood to her grandmother's house. At first she walked very properly and carried the basket carefully, but when she got to the wood, she longed to put down the basket, pick the flowers that smiled up at her, and chase the sunbeams that danced across her path. Just then the wolf stepped out of the shadows. Little Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked creature he was, so she was not at all afraid of him. Good morning, my dear, said the wolf. Where are you going on such a fine day? Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood replied politely. I am taking this basket of cake and cider to my grandmother. And where does your grandmother live, my dear, asked the wolf. She lives in a cottage covered with roses, not far from here, said Little Red Riding Hood. I see, said the wolf, and then as he walked by the side of Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf added, It does seem a shame that you must walk so slowly and carefully when all else in the wood is merry. How sweetly the birds are singing, and look at the pretty flowers. Why not put down your basket and gather some flowers for your old grandmother? The wolf spoke so sweetly that Little Red Riding Hood forgot her promise not to leave the path. She set down her basket and ran into the wood to pick flowers for her grandmother. But with each flower she picked, she spied another that seemed more beautiful and dashed deeper and deeper into the wood and farther away from the path. The wolf laughed as Little Red Riding Hood wandered away from the path. Ha, he cried, I will reach Grandmother's house before Little Red Riding Hood. Then I will gobble up the old woman and have the child for dessert. The wolf ran straight to Grandmother's house and knocked at the door. Who is there? asked an old voice from within. Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf in his softest voice. I bring you cake and cider. Open the door. Lift the latch and come in, called the Grandmother. I am so weak I cannot get up. The wolf lifted the latch, the door sprang open, and without saying a word, he went straight to Grandmother's bed and swallowed her up. Then he took one of her frilled nightcaps from a drawer, tied it on his head, and lay down in the bed with covers tucked tight under his chin. All this time, Little Red Riding Hood had been running about picking flowers. When she gathered so many that she could carry no more, she remembered her grandmother and hurried back to the path. She rushed to the rose-covered cottage. When she arrived at her grandmother's house, she was surprised to see the door standing open. So she stood on the step and called out, Grandmother, may I come in? Of course, my dear, said the wolf in the softest voice. But the softest voice was still a growl, and Little Red Riding Hood felt uneasy as she walked in. Little Red Riding Hood drew near the bed. There lay what she thought was her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, said Little Red Riding Hood, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear, was the reply. But, Grandmother, what big eyes you have, she said. The better to see you with, my dear. But, Grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear. With that, the wolf threw off the covers, sprang at Little Red Riding Hood, and swallowed her in one big gulp. With his stomach so full, the wolf felt tired, so he lay down again and fell fast asleep. Soon he began to snore, very loudly. Just then, a woodman passed by the cottage. How the old woman is snoring, he said to himself. I must see if she is all right. When he entered the cottage, he saw the wolf lying on the bed. 
It's you, you wicked creature, he exclaimed. I have been looking for you a long time. He raised his axe, but then he thought that the wolf might have eaten the grandmother and that she might still be saved. So since the wolf was sleeping so soundly, with his mouth wide open as he snored, the woodman reached down into the wolf's belly. Imagine his surprise as he pulled and out came Little Red Riding Hood. How frightened I have been, the little girl cried. How dark it was inside the wolf. Then out came Grandmother, too, for the wolf had swallowed them so quickly that his great teeth had not touched them. The wolf woke with a start, and seeing the woodman with his axe, the wolf ran from the cottage, never to be seen again. Grandmother ate the cake and drank the cider that Little Red Riding Hood had brought, and soon she felt much better. But Little Red Riding Hood only said to herself, As long as I live, I will listen to my mother and never again leave the path to run into the wood. The End